We actually brought you here to fire you. All right, Mike, got 17 questions for you. <laughs> in literally no order. All right, I'm ready. Uh, a few hobbies. I enjoy writing. I really, really enjoy writing. Uh, I do a lot with music. I like to write and record uh, hip hop music. Uh, check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> Watch sports, play sports. I love to golf. If you like good music, you'll like it. So Shooting and collecting firearms, obviously. That's a big, big thing of mine. I love to go out and just do some target shooting in my backyard. Oh, that's about it. You can't do that. That's unfair. That's hard. That's 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 really hard. My favorite restaurant from season one. It's it's a close one. It's a it's a neck and neck uh, between Breakfast at Tiffany's and uh, Bent Fork because they both do what they do so well. You know, they welcomed us with open arms, and we still have a great relationship with both of them. So. For me, that's a toss-up between Haitian Sensation and Lucky Louie's. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Haitian Sensation, I'm a pretty religious person, so all of the themes he had going on there in relation to God and his beliefs and what he felt he had to do, I absolutely, I just grasped onto that and I absolutely loved it and I wanted to help him out however I could. But then Lucky Louie's, there's something just about, like, I say like specialty hot dogs. Something about specialty hot dogs and craft beer. They just went together really well. It was a laid back place. We met a lot of the people for the first time when we were just giving each other hell over the counter. Like we'd known each other for years. Just that atmosphere and then the food and drink combination they had. It was, Haitian Sensation was a place I could go to and really think and settle down. And Lucky Louis was a place I could go to on my drive home that you just feel at home and laid back and can do whatever you want. I'm going to have to go with uh, Tiffany's, I think. I'm a huge breakfast fan. She also she also did a lot for us other than, you know, treating us real well and whatnot. And we still go back in there and she recognizes us and we have a good time and all that. So I'd have to go, I'd have to go with breakfast at Tiffany's. I work uh, full time at a manufacturing company. I work for Menagerie Studio. Here we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, friends of the show, producers of the show. I work as a sports writer for a local newspaper where we live, and that's be a sports. I love food and I love beer, but sports have always been my first love. So getting to write about those every day is just great. It's exciting. We uh, powder coated the their new tap handles, so that was cool. We actually featured Mortal Keys in season one, so check that out. We do a lot of uh, commercials, um, you know, for broadcast television. More so, we've been getting into online marketing videos, and um, yeah, just love it. <laughs> We're always drinking. <laughs> well, it's definitely super run and gun and quick and like we can get an entire restaurant done within a couple hours because we're just busting our asses except when we're at a brewery because we drink the entire time. I think 99% of the time we're always drinking. This guy's drinking right now as he's interviewing me. I mean, I don't want to say we're belligerent. I'm not trying to paint that picture, but we are definitely, there are nine times out of 10, we are drinking or have been drinking right before the cameras are rolling. How much of it is improvised? Like for all of our introductions and all of our closing scenes, the only way we set it up is, we go, Mike and I go out and we'll stand there and we'll say, all right, Mike, I got the first line down. What are we gonna do? Eh, let's just see what happens. And we'll do five takes and each take we'll get another line down. We make it up as we go and that usually turns out a lot better than if we tried to script it.